Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to another episode of RB Plays Enigmatica 6. That's right, folks, we're back in our modded world doing all the cool modded things. My name is RB Plays. I am your humble host on this side of the screen. Thanks so much for stopping by. This is your first time here. Make sure that you hit the old subscribe button, get notified every time we put new content up on Z channel. Uh, last time we were together, we worked on uh, we worked on some cool stuff. Let me uh, let me get out of this view and I shall show you what we have uh, what we have worked on. We worked on uh, we worked on a little bit of this over here, uh, which is our uh, our pure daisy, uh, living rock, living wood uh, kind of a thing. Uh, we've had a live stream where we've tried to do some some upgrady type stuff, like we've upgraded our armor. So now all of our armor, all of our robes, um, the mage hood, the, ro the mage robe, the mage leggings, and the mage boots, they all have mana regen three and mana boost three. Um, in the interim, in between the last episode and this stream, uh, we, we also did some stuff with uh, with uh, with the power mod. We'll get into that a little bit more today. I would like to upgrade some of these some of these pieces of equipment, but I've also added some things into our refined storage system. Uh, added a couple extra crafters. I also added a redstone furnace from thermal expansion uh, so that we can actually get some other things automated, like uh, like having uh, the ability to make silicon the ability to make all the different processors. And then over here in this one, we have the ability to make a 64K storage component, right? A 64K storage disk, that sounds amazing. Let's make one. Let's see if we can. Can we do it? I don't think we can because uh, if we do that, we are missing some items. We're missing redstone and we're missing, uh, we're missing iron. Iron is a big thing for us. Like we go through a lot of iron. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot. Can I do this? Uh, e, uh, e, 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 zoom. Yeah, I mean a lot. Yeah, we got Optifine, so we can do the whole zoom thing. Um, so we go through a lot of iron. So today what I'd like to do, before we can really update any of this power stuff, we also need to get, uh, we also need to find a way to get some, uh, to get some iron. And one of the things that we can do actually involves some stuff that we've already done. Uh, what I'd like to do is I'd like to take one of these... Uh, and then go in here, nope, not in there, in here, and do um, conveyor. Uh, we want one of these splitting conveyor belts, right? So that is, oh, that's three, that's three conveyors. Oops. Uh, we need to have two more of those. Yes, please. Uh, also, figured out how to how to make it so that it keeps your, your last search. What you have to do is you have to go in here to the search box, do JEI synchronized two-way, and it will keep the last thing that you search for. So if we go in here, we want to find these these splitting conveyors, and we need to make a we need to make one of those. But you can only get three, so and and use a piece of iron to do it. Um, but we what I want to do is up here with our let's grab that up here with our uh, our system up here. Oh, is it nighttime? It is nighttime. Let's uh, let's make it daytime. Uh, up here with our with our stonework factory, you know we're we're taking cobblestone from a cobble gen and we're making uh, uh, B. Yep. We're making, uh, we're making gravel and then we're taking that gravel and we're turning it into sand and we're taking that sand and turn it into glass, but we're also splitting and saving some of this stuff, right? What I would like to do, oh, waiting for server. No, not waiting for server. That's not a good thing. Dag flabbit nabbit. Uh, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna re have to restart the, uh, I'm gonna have to restart the game because that does that every once in a while. It's like it's locking up a CPU core or something. Um, the folks at Enigmatica gave me a script that I can run uh, to find out if we can figure out why this is happening. Um, but uh, I, I haven't run it yet. I might run it this time. But uh, let me get through this intro clip first. Basically, what I got to do is I got to shut the cobblestone generator down. And then over here where the uh, where the first set of grinding wheels are that turn the cobblestone into gravel, if we take that gravel and split it right here so that the gravel can go one way and another way, and then that gravel can get split here to go into storage, and then that gravel can also go up here to get uh, crushed down into sand. If we do that, we can get uh, we can get gravel. All right, like We can use that gravel for something important. We go in here to uses, and we go into the washing, the bulk washing from Create. If you put gravel through a washer, you get iron nuggets. You don't get a lot of them. But if you do the, like we, this thing is running the whole time our world is running anyway. And so 
why not? Why not do some free iron, right? So what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, I'm going to have to restart my my restart my my game instance because once that waiting on server gets locked up like that, it just it doesn't it won't uh, it won't load. So, uh, but what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll get that uh, I'll get that set up so that we can uh, get back into the world. We're going to set up another thing kind of similar like this. We're going to have one of these encased fans. We're going to have a water source. We're going to have a conveyor that feeds uh, that item into something that will capture them, right? It'll feed into something. And, uh, and, then we'll, and, and then we'll come back and we'll show you what we have done. Since you guys have seen all of the crafting for this, uh, I'm not gonna bore you with the crafting recipes and all that. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up so that we get into a, uh, a bulk washing kind of a thing for that gravel so that we can get a storage, uh, a storage of flint because flint is important. And then also we get free iron nuggets. So let me go ahead and get that all set up. I'll come back to you guys in just a minute and hopefully we can start getting some free, yes I said free, iron. Okay, so I've done a few things. Uh, I got a few things set up here and and just kind of getting ready to uh, kind of getting ready to finish this part of the little project for today up. Uh, so we put in our uh, splitting conveyor uh, and then that's running over here to a conveyor that runs into this set of spruce uh, one by two drawers. So on the top we're gonna have um, we're gonna have nuggets. Uh, iron nuggets and on the bottom we're going to have uh, flint. This is not going to be the storage location for those however. The storage location for those is actually going to be downstairs in the uh, in the main storage room. What I would like to do now is I'd like to get, uh, we got to do some create stuff and we got to do, that's not the right box. Um, we need this encased fan. Uh, I would like to try some of these belts and possibly some of these. So let's go ahead and get this create fan there. Yes, perfect. Flawless, as my B dubs. That's my B dubs. Uh, uh, yeah, what, mm, yeah, that. Uh, let's put one of those on there. And then I want to see if I can do something like this. Let's go to the breaker. Can I do this? Can I do that to that? No. But I can do, oh, but I can do this. So if I go like that, yeah. So if I do that, I can go from there to there. Aha. Uh -huh. Can I go from, yes, I can. I can do it like this. I can go, oop, fall down in a hole. I can go from here to there. And then I can do that. And that'll run the fan. Nice. Hello? Can I get up here, please? Uh, there we go. So now we should have a fan blowing. Is it blowing the right direction? It is not blowing the right direction. It needs to go the other direction. No, that's fine. We can do that. We can take one of these gearboxes and that should uh, change the direction, I think. I think gearboxes change the direction, yeah. Uh, let's put, I put it here. Can I put it here? Yep, and then something like that. Yeah, that's perfect. Now I need a bucket. Uh, I have a bucket, I need some water. So let's get some water. Where do I have water close by? Right there, I have water near my Batania area that we that we started on some Batania stuff and then walked away from because, because that's what we do apparently. <laughs> uh, but right here now, we should be able to take and Oops. Uh, okay. Not so much. There we go. Now we're talking. So now if we come back over here oop, and uh, put a thing back right like that. Yeah. So that should start breaking cobblestone now. And there's a cobblestone going that way. Which way is it going to go when it gets up here? Hopefully it will go that way. Grindy, grindy, grindy. Yeah, it did. So now right there should get turned into it got turned into a nugget. Yeah. So nice. 
and then all of this is going and doing its thing. So it's not going to be a fast process, but it's going to be a process nonetheless that is going to give us free uh, free iron. So let's hook that up the rest of the way. We need to get some refined storage over to that. And what I think I want to use for the refined storage is I want to use an importer. Uh, and I think I made some recipes for those. Im whoop, import. I did not make an importer. Uh, can I make a can I make an importer? Can I do can I do that? Do I have enough room in my crafting so I do. I have enough room for an importer right now. So let's make an importer. Uh, that is not how you spell importer. Importer. So go like that. Go like that. Give me that pattern. Put you in there. And then can I tell you to make an importer? Yes, I have all the stuff. So that'll do that. We'll get an importer going. We're going to need some refined storage cables as well, but that might be a problem because we're running low on iron. Okay, so there's the importer. What do we have for cables? I have two, <laughs> I have two cables. That's, that's not going to do the trick. Uh, can I make more cables? Probably not because I'm pretty sure. Oops, I didn't, I didn't have to do that. Cable. Can I make, I can, oh, I think that's all I'm going to need. Like 12 should be pretty close uh, because we're super close, as a matter of fact, to where we need to be um, by going up here. So let's go take a look at that real quick. Like. So if I go over here. Yes. So if I go over here like this, we should be able to just tie into this here. Hopefully this will be enough. We can put you there. And then we can put this. Hello? Yeah. Okay, so now if we go up here, there shouldn't be anything in that. Uh, and then basically what I'm doing is I'm using the, st the, the storage drawer as a filter, right? It's, it's making it so that flint, or not flint, but uh, gravel can't get into the system until it's turned into the, uh, the iron ingot and or the flint, right? So let's go ahead and cover this back up now. And like... So, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. All right. So now we're making, we're making some cool stuff. Let's go ahead and cover that up. Cover that up. And that should be, that should be good. So now if we go inside, periodically, we should see that that is actually giving us more, <coughs> excuse me, more iron nuggets, right? So iron nuggets. We have 211. At some point, we'll get 212. Probably won't be very fast, though. All right, we'll go ahead and let that run because it is what it is. All right, so now what I'd like to do is uh, can I make another another crafter? Because there are some recipes that I want to make. Uh, can I make a crafter? Yes, I can. I did have to add. Oh, you probably didn't. I probably didn't. Probably didn't show it, but. Uh, Outside, I had to add I had to add another windmill because uh, another wind generator from uh, from mechanism because we <laughs> we we ran out of power big time ran out of power big time and also I couldn't get uh, I couldn't get that program to run that uh, that the Enigmatica folks were telling me about um, Visual VM I think is what it's called um, basically what it does is it will it will monitor uh, Java functions. And I mean, it may do other stuff too, but it, it monitors Java functions and it tells you where they're going astray, right? And that is definitely a problem that we have in this world right now is that something Java related is going astray. And that's what causes that whole waiting on server thing to pop up periodically. It doesn't happen all the time, but it definitely happens. It definitely happens more than I'd like it to. And that was really loud. Anyway, sorry. So now we got another crafter. Let's get some, uh, let's get into some recipes. Uh, not there. I got actually down here. Um, let's get into some recipes for uh, for power mod. So at power, 
at p o w a h. And while we're doing this, we should be able to uh, we should be able to build up on our iron uh, on our iron supply. So we have six patterns right now. We're going to need these basic tiny processor or tiny capacitors. We're going to need these basic capacitors. We're going to need these large capacitors. So let's make recipes for those, right? So give me that. Uh, can I do that again? Can I do that? There we go. We've got a we got a desync issue somehow with uh, with the the refined storage crafter stuff and the and the recipes. Every once in a while they'll glitch out and they'll not show up. It it it's fine. It it works out okay. But like see there, it just kind of disappears on us. Uh, anyway, so let's do that. That's cool. That gives us that one, and then we'll do that. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so that gives us those three. What are we looking at here? That one's full, that one's full. So we'll do all of those. So now we can make all of those. And then also from Power Mod, there's a few other things that I was thinking that we might need, like uh, like dielectric paste, that's important. So let's go like that. So that's coal, clay, and blaze powder. Perfect. That's not, <laughs> there we go. So we need that. And then also we need some of these things. So let's go ahead and make those. Oh, that whole desync thing is really frustrating. So we'll make those. And then we also need to make these. Hmm. There we go. So we need to make those. And then we also need to teach it how to make iron bars. Like iron bars are going to be kind of an important thing as well. So let's, let's teach it how to make iron bars but we're going to need some more patterns. Can we make 10? No, we don't have any iron at all to make any of those. That's unfortunate. Um, hmm. Yeah, we don't have any, <laughs> we don't have any iron. Okay, well, that's fine. We'll come back to that in a minute. Um, but what I want to look at next is how do we upgrade some of these, uh, some of these these energy cells and the starter, uh, the, these furnators and and magmators and you know whatever else. The the one thing that I noticed about power and this is kind of this is kind of weird, but it's not also not weird. Um, upgrading these like the furnator starter into the furnator basic, you can use the starter furnator plus the dielectric casing, plus the basic capacitor, plus iron, all of that to get that upgraded to the next tier. And you can do the same thing with the uh, the magmator, uh, but you can't do that with the solar panels, right? So we start, we have one of the starter solar panels. We have one of the starter solar panels and uh, to go to the next level, to the basics, you don't use the previous tier. And I think that that's a missed opportunity, you know, like make it so that I can't just use one but maybe make it so that uh, these three solar panels here instead, oh, those are the starter solar panels. Okay, so I missed that. So if you go to the starter one, right, you just need these photoelectric panes, but then if you go here, you're actually using the solar panel. Okay, my mistake, my bad. So if we make, uh, if we make three of these, right, if we make three of these, we should be able to get the next higher tier of, uh, of solar panel, but that's going to require iron, which I don't have right now. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and AFK here for, I don't know, maybe the afternoon or whatever, and let that, uh, let that kind of gather up some iron. Because right now, whoops, right now, right now we're at 12, <laughs> right now we're at 12 ingots of iron, which is not going to, uh, not going to go over very well for us. I don't think, uh, at... Power. So the next level of solar panel in order to make those. Yeah, see, I don't think we can. What's it take to make photoelectric panes? Window, it takes, okay, so it takes dielectric paste, it takes lapis, and it takes uh, window panes. Okay, let's, let's see. Can I make, can I autograph those? So to make the basic one. Okay, uh, I don't want white stained glass. I would just want regular stained glass or glass pane. Yeah, just regular panes will be fine. Okay, uh, oh, we need to, we need a pattern. Can I make one pattern or two? I can, okay, maybe. Mm. 
So there's that one. That gives us that. And then we just need the solar. The basic starter tier solar. It knows how to make all of those except for dielectric casings. Um, which is fine. I can teach it how to make that too. So another one more pattern, right? One more pattern. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead and give me that. Cool. Oh, and that's that's like everything. So now I can I tell it to make me a solar panel. Can I tell it to make me two solar panels? I can. Okay, so we should be able to upgrade that one solar panel to the next tier. Uh, oh, actually, we got two solar panels. Cool. So if we go and break the other one that's outside, we should be able to make this one. Um, yeah. All right, let me go get that other one. I'll come right back to you, and we'll see where we, uh, see where we get to. Okay, solar panel in hand. Uh, we want to make the basic tier solar panel. So what we need to make first are a couple of basic capacitors and a dielectric casing. So basic, we need two of those. Okay, we should be able to make that just fine. Cool. And then also a dielectric casing. That would be this. Cool. So that should be everything. So now we should be able to go solar panel and make the upgraded tier. Give me that and give me that. Yeah, so now instead of making, uh, instead of making 50 FE per tick, it makes 150 FE per tick. I'm sorry, it generates 12. This generates five, this generates 12. So that's a much better, uh, much better power for us, which is gonna be awesome. So we'll take this outside. I'll show you what we did with the whole uh, mechanism wind generator thing because we had to we had to reconfigure all that. It was over here. Now it's over here because uh, <clears throat> it wasn't working very well. But anyway, we'll put this pa -da, right there and look at that generating lots and lots of power. My intent is to use a lot of solar, maybe a little wind, but a lot of solar in uh, in and around the build up here. It, coming back into what we're what we're trying to accomplish here. I did do a little bit of work with the uh, with the wizard tower. So we did this in a live stream. I've done this one here. Uh, and this one over here uh, in the interim in between. I got one more on the back corner that I've got to do, but I've also got to make some more of the uh, <laughs> light blue. That's definitely not light blue. It's like purple, um, but light blue terracotta and then uh, also get some more uh, some more concrete going. But uh, but that's going to take some time. But I think that that is going to do it for today. We actually accomplished a couple of things that I wanted to accomplish. Number one, I wanted to uh, wanted to hold, do the whole upgrade on the uh, on the solar panel thing and other power stuff as well. We'll get into that some more and free iron. Like I don't know, it's not going to give us a lot, but it's going to give us some free iron until we can get into a uh, a little bit better way of gathering up iron for our benefit. But folks. That is all the time that I have for today. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments. So make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff. We'll chat about it in kind. Don't forget to stop by our Discord server where we're talking about all things life, all things gaming, and most importantly, all things Minecraft. But once again, folks, that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.